Hi everyone and welcome to Winning with SketchUp's plugin of the day. Today we're going to take a look at split tools from TIG. And in order to get that plugin, you need to have the Sketchucation plugin store installed. Uh, you can get that from sketchucation.com. There's a download link and instructions to install the plugin store, which allows you to search for all the different various plugins which are stored on the forum, uh, the sketchucation.com forum. So once we have that plugin extension store installed, we can use the search button here. And we want to go and search for the word split. And that will bring up the option for split tools, split donut, and split sausage. We need to install all three of those in order to get the toolbar here with the two icons representing the split donut and the split sausage. So install all three of those and now you will have the toolbar and the one the icon on the left is the split donut tool the icon on the right is the split sausage tool and we can tell that because the image here on the left icon is more of a closed shape looks more like a donut and the one on the right is an open shape it looks more like a sausage the way that split tools works is it automates the process when it comes to a surface created via offsetting it automates the process of connecting the endpoints so if I would have a square shape or rectangular shape like this and I would offset it and I wanted to go around and connect each one of these corners I could do that manually or I could use split donut if I select the surface that was created because of the offset and run the split donut tool, we can see that it went around and connected all of those corners. I can take a circle like this. If I offset that, now I'm creating a surface via that offset. If I run split donut, we can see that it will go around and make all of those connections. Even if I have a custom shape that I've created, and I would offset that. I can select that new face that was created by the offset and run split donut and it will go around and make all of the connections. So it's connecting the endpoint to the endpoint. In order for it to do that, the tool first needs to go and make sure that there's an even or an equal number of endpoints on both sets of edges created by the offset. So the initial set of edges on the outside. So this set of edges here we can see has 24 segments. And if we offset that, then the inner set of edges will have 24 segments as well. And that's the first thing that Split Donut does. If by chance there is a different number of segments on either one of these sets of edges, then Split Donut will not work. If I would just draw an edge here that intersects, and now I'm creating a break, so this segment now becomes two. And if I would look, I now have 25 edges, and the interior created by the offset only has 24. I would select that surface and try to run split donut, I'm going to get an error saying we need to select at least one donut face. So the plugin went around and it calculated the number of segments on the inside and the outside and it found out they were different. So this surface is now disqualified as a donut face. In order to use um, the split sausage tool, it does virtually the same thing as split donut, except it works on surfaces which aren't closed shapes. So if we would take a set of arcs here that we can draw, and if we would offset these and connect the endpoints, we need to have a face created. So if we would connect endpoint to endpoint and endpoint to endpoint, now we have a surface or a face 
and we can now use if we try to run split donut obviously that won't work because it's not a closed loop of faces or one it's not made by a, a closed set of edges however if I would offset this inside of here and I would go larger or smaller and I would select that now the split donut would work because it's a complete loop all the way around it's a complete donut but if I just had this surface here I need to use split sausage and if I run that it says I must select one edge belonging to the selected face so if we would just select any edge and run this we can see that it's not making connections which are straight across from each other so we need to establish the starting point and the surface and then we can run split sausage and it will go through and make the connections and what the plugin is doing if we mark our vertices here mark our endpoints we can see these guide points from wherever we select the first edge it's going to operate on the surface that or the face that we select and then the first edge is going to be the starting point for the plugin to read the next endpoint in the row so if this is the starting point then this endpoint here becomes the first one and that's going to connect to the first one on this side and then it's going to go through and it's going to find the second endpoint and it's going to connect to the second endpoint on this side now if we would draw an edge from this endpoint to this endpoint and we would run split sausage it's going to go through and now it's going to consider this edge and the endpoints on either side as the starting point so now it's going to go the next endpoint in succession from this edge so now it will connect this one to this one and this one to this one and that's true of anywhere that we would draw this edge if I would draw it there and run split sausage we can see that it's going the next one to the next one the next one to the next one and so on so by selecting this first edge here we're able to have the tool connect the next one to the next one and so on and that's what we want in a situation like this where we're trying to have good perpendicular connections and that's what we want with this tool we want to make con these connecting edges are as perpendicular to the edges on either side of this endpoint as possible so if we come back to this situation and we wanted to connect this and we have an edge here that's intersecting what we would need to do first is we would need to connect those sets of endpoints and now select this surface select our starting edge and run split sausage and that will go around and make all of the connections now if we had a an edge here that was intersecting so now we're creating another endpoint and we selected this surface selected our edge here and ran split sausage we can see that everything was fine it made the connection the next in line to the next in line the next one to the next one until it got here and now instead of connecting this endpoint to this endpoint it did the next in line and connected from here to here and after that point everything was then thrown out of order as it was coming around and when it got to the end it connected instead of this one to this one now it's creating a triangle here on this end piece so we need to be mindful of that and it's why this mark vertices tool is such a good tool to have when we are dealing with the split sausage tool because we can go and check run this tool and we can have a visual representation here of where we have maybe some extra endpoints or if we're running the tool and we see that it's doing something that we don't want something such as this 
then we can analyze where these edges are making their connection and we can see pretty clearly that right here is where it's getting thrown off. In order to correct that, we can either delete this edge, and sometimes they're welded, such as situations like this. So we would either have to break this edge here and here, and then delete those edges and redraw this one. And now that should work. Or the other option is if we had those extra edges there, and we can see there's three segments in there, we need to get rid of those extra endpoints. And there's a plugin from Frito 6, a part of the Frito tools we can use called Remove Lonely Vertices. And if we run that, that will go and find those two extra endpoints. We can say OK. And now if we would select the face and our starting edge, then everything will go around and connect as we would expect. So those are some things to be mindful of. If we also have a shape where we are offsetting and the offset will sometimes cause us to lose an even number of endpoints. So depending on the shape, a shape such as this, sometimes depending on how far we need to offset this, we can see what's happening is this is actually starting to break the shape here. So if I would go and connect this now and connect our endpoint to endpoint, and we would want to run our split sausage we can see that we're getting an error again. Things aren't looking the way they should. And that's simply because the number of segments here, the number of edges is 14. And on the top side, the number is 12. So there's an extra two in here. And if we would go through and connect maybe from here to here and here to here, then we can manually connect this part, this face here, which is isolated, and collect our, uh, select our starting edge and connect those. And we see we need to go corner to corner. But we have this extra endpoint here, which has nowhere to connect. So we could either connect it to the midpoint here, do something like that, we could redraw this edge if we wanted. It all depends on what we are working on or how we're going about creating or what we're creating our mesh for, how we're going to texture that mesh. Um, we want to be mindful of that when we're working with the split tools and we're trying to create quad surfaces, which is generally what the split tools is all about. It's dividing up these faces so that we can do maybe quad texturing or maybe a surface like this. We want to turn the wood grain um, the long way and have it follow the direction here as it would in real life. So we need to, to break up our ends. We just always need to be mindful of what we're creating and look for those errors where the offset might have a different number of segments on the inside and outside. And in situations like that, we, we often need to manually come in and split up um, with an edge different surfaces and then select those faces or surfaces and run split donut. Um, even on a large closed shape, we, mean, we may need to go around and connect all of the hard corners and then come back and do each section at a time with split sausage. So that's a look at Split Sausage. I hope that's helpful. And you can see many uses for that, um, not only in landscaping, but in architecture. And we will see you in the next plugin of the day.